everybody. Uh, my name is Eva Rio. I'm a product manager at Tuxera. I'm here with my colleague Sandor Filippini. Hello, I'm Sandor Filippini. I'm head of global software engineering at Tuxera. And today we would like to talk to you about uh, storage software in, in Norflash. So, yes, as Sandor mentioned, we both work at Tuxera. Tuxera is a data management company you might already be familiar with, and we develop file systems and networking storage for multiple markets like consumer electronics, automotive, uh, aerospace and defense, military and, and medical industries. And today we would like to talk to you about different market trends that are happening in, in the world related to, to data and data generation. Also about the characteristics of NorFlash and data login applications, what makes this type of use cases um, special, um, especially related to NorFlash. We'll talk about a new way of storing data, structured data in NorFlash with a product of Tuxera called Reliance Sense. And then we'll wrap up the, the presentation and have a few minutes with questions and answers. So there's been a few happenings in the world that are affecting what data happenings in, in the world or what is happening with data in the world, especially energy prices in particular are are increasing and this is leading to manufacturers and OEM to try to come up with new new solutions to address this problem. It's estimated that for example around 31% of energy is lost after it reaches the, the end device and customers are interested in knowing how to monitor that and how to leverage data to minimize this type of uh, risks with energy finding new ways and better ways to make uh, better use of, of the energy that we are generating. Then, in parallel to that, there are several changes happening uh, with growing digitalization and legislation, different government policies that are pushing towards a more, um, let's say, streamlined usage of smart meters and more efficient ways of handling energy and managing energy. For example, it is uh, estimated that by 2025, just in Europe, will be uh, 240 plus million units of smart meters deployed in commercial environments. And that is a big, big market for companies working around the energy industry. But it's not just smart meters, uh, the, the only market that is growing. We can see the same type of growth in related uh, markets related from the use case point of view, this type of data logging applications, data recording applications. So data loggers market is also growing, sensor segment markets as well, and wearables and IoT uh, likewise, very big numbers that you don't need to remember, but just to give you the idea that the market in all these industries is going to grow in the upcoming five years, a uh, decade from now. And about the NOR market itself, um, NOR market is a type of, of flash, which accounts for about 3% of the total memory market. It's a bit niche in that sense, and it has some advantages and disadvantages Chandler will cover in, in the upcoming slides. But basically, NOR flash features fast read operations and provides reliable long-term performance and data retention. But tends to have a small capacity and low, low densities. So main vendors in this space are Micron, Infineon, Winbond, Macronix, Giga Device, and ISSI, and they are producing this type of small capacity uh, flash parts, not flash parts. Um, one trend we are seeing in the NOR market is that serial NAND and managed NAND have displaced this type of flash from the consumer electronics segment. They were looking for larger capacities to store and operate with data. And NOR still has some, some advantages. So manufacturers of NOR have been started to focus on high-end products and applications where high reliability is needed. They are starting to provide uh, 35, certified parts for with NOR. And you can find this type of 
memory in industrial systems um, like HMI, sensors, smart meters, in automotive environments, especially in automotive driving systems, um, sorry, autonomous driving systems in the cluster and digital cockpit, powertrains, also in the telecommunications space in 5G radiohead and base stations, for example, and in the medical industry, in medical wearables, portable electronics, trackers and, and health cards. And yeah, as I was mentioning, Norflash manufacturers are trying to differentiate themselves by providing high quality or ways of data retention. They are now coming up with 35 flash parts that are ACIL ready or ACIL certified. Let's talk a few words about uh, the characteristics of the Norflash. Um, its main use case is for code storage and code execution. It has advantages over NAND flashes, uh, namely that it is reliable, provides long-term data retention, and very importantly, it is byte addressable. However, there are disadvantages as well. The cost per bit is high, erase write cycles are limited, are slow, uh, capacity is low. Uh, the number of erase and program cycles are uh, similar to the NAND flash. Uh, SLC NAND flash is around 100,000 or 60,000. Tuxera being focused on storage solutions wants to help all customers to find the best and most optimal solution for all use cases. Uh, in smart meters, data loggers, sensors, wearable and IoT devices, in most of the cases, there is no need to store random content. The data needs to be recorded periodically, it is structured, the definition, format and meaning is explicitly known. Uh, storage data could be organized to records and records to databases. Lifetimes could be up to 15 years or even sometimes uh, more. Combining these requirements with no flash characteristics, such as being byte addressable, Tuxera designed and implemented a very special solution that helps logging data on all flashes. Um, and the name of this product is Reliance Sense. If your goal is to log data at a regular interval of known structure, then Reliance Sense is designed for your use case. Compared to a standard file system, it offers increased lifetime, write cycles are limited to the absolute minimum. Uh, consequently, the number of array cycles are much lower. Power consumption remains low as well. It is optimized for environments with limited resources. Uh, RAM usage is very low and also the uh, ROM uh, consumption uh, remains on the low side. It offers a straightforward API. Integration uh, is uh, straightforward as a consequence. Uh, as a result, uh, the time to market is, is fast. There is no OS dependency. It can work with an OS or also bare metal. Its modular approach offers easy migration to an all flash from a different vendor, portability, uh, offering a portability and reduced supply chain risks. Unlike standard file systems, logging applications work with well-defined records, more suited to database approach. As an example, a standard file system does not have native support for cyclic buffers and overwriting the oldest records uh, is going to uh, boil down to a very complex operation. Um, in a standard file system, data is organized into a location unit. If existing data needs to be changed in power fail safe manner, all data needs to be combined with the new data and that, that needs to be copied to a new allocation unit. The old the location unit with the old data needs to be removed and information about this sequence uh, has to be recorded to the uh, to be able to return to a consistent state if the process is interrupted at any moment in time. This results in many additional program and potential erase cycles. With Reliance Sense, the number of additional write and erase cycles are reduced significantly, contributing to the longer lifetime of the flash. We offer two main types of databases, the circular database and the linear database. In the case of circular database, records are accumulated until the database gets full, uh, then the oldest record is overwritten uh, with the newest record. Uh, this approach is beneficial for logging scenarios. In case of the linear database, records are written and once the database is full, uh, either the newest record is overwritten or write request is rejected. This type of database is mostly used to store configuration data, for example. The type and structure of the databases uh, can be provided once during the format process. 
It is possible to create and remove databases and even to migrate an existing database to a new one on the fly. For example, if it turns out that the size of the record needs to be extended or, uh, or lowered uh, to store additional information without losing the collected logs of the existing database, then uh, migrating uh, migrate feature uh, could be of help. Each record can hold a timestamp and user-defined data to store checksum or security-related information. Um, it offers an efficient search mechanism uh, to find records based on timestamps or in a time range. ReliantSense is designed to seamlessly replace a traditional file system, offers a simple API to read, write and search records um, and some other APIs as well uh, for management purposes like formatting the, uh, the media. Generic Node Driver is provided to integrate with any byte writable Node Flash. The driver interface layer uh, makes even possible to tailor uh, it to an existing Node Driver. And it can be combined with standard file systems um, in case um, I mean, the uh, operation needs to be shared and uh, this highly efficient uh, record management is required uh, together with traditional file system approach where rental data has to be accessed. Reliance Sense simplifies application development for sensor applications, accelerating time to market. Uh, it offers better performance than a traditional file system based approach. Uh, due to its reduced wear on underlying storage media, um, it can extend the product lifetime compared to standard solutions. It is fail safe um, and predict offers predictable data integrity. Um, it comes with a lifetime simulator, which can be used to mimic the real time behavior of the system by feeding in the same type of database structure that is going to be used um, on, on in the field and verifying um, its real time behavior. It offers lower power consumption. Uh, it because of uh, the uh, portability, it offers reduces supply chain risks. It is fully MISRC compliant. So let's take a um, success story uh, with this product. A well-known smart meter manufacturing company approached to Xera with the requirement to provide a solution to log data with an expected lifetime of at least 15 years. Uh, it had to be fault around and the major criteria was to reduce manufacturing and maintenance costs. Cost reduction could be achieved by using smaller capacity nor, and Reliance Sense was found to be an exact match for this use case, as the wear is kept on the minimum, while data integrity is not at stake. With the simple API, integration and tailoring effort was seamless. The simulation tool was used to model the least lifetime wear of the flash in an accelerated manner. Within a few minutes uh, or hours, we could simulate uh, 15 years of uh, lifetime. After integrating Sense, the customer found that they can use an even smaller knowledge than they originally planned, saving them even more cost per unit. So the key takeaways, global scale happenings, changing markets, consensitive solutions. Sense is offered for a niche market to store structured data in knowledges for data loggers, smart meters, IoT devices, wearables, sensors, and similar products storing predefined data at regular intervals. Reliance Sense replaces traditional file system and is optimized to store records in a circular or linear manner. Reliance Sense offers simple API and, as a consequence, simple integration. Sense is designed to store pre-formatted data in a fault-tolerant manner, achieving new levels of efficiency while where all of the flash is kept as low as possible. Thank you very much. So that's what we wanted to show you today. Now we have time for a few questions. Yes, we've received some questions, so I will ask them from you. The first one is, what makes this approach so robust and flash friendly? Thanks for the question. ReliantSense implements deterministic behavior in the event of unexpected resets or power loss. Because of that, the system will always recover and the integrity of the data is predictable. ReliantSense also helps to mitigate the disadvantages of no flash, namely the high cost per bit, slow program and array cycles, and low capacity by organizing data in structured manner and reducing the number of arrays and program cycles to the absolute minimum. Those features make ReliantSense fail-safe and flash-friendly, and in fact, a 
according to our simulations, we can exceed 15 years of lifetime, depending on the use case, uh, even much more. Okay, thank you, Shandor. The next question is a two-parter. So the first part is, how can customers evaluate the advantages of this solution? I can take that one. So okay. that is a great question. Thanks. So yeah, Reliance Sense makes use of a simulation tool for behavior modeling. And this tool allows the application developer to understand the long-term behavior of the flash, also to validate the system behavior in case of power interruption. And there is also a possibility of importing flash images for diagnostic analysis. And overall, this simulation tool, it's a way to provide you with clear and informative perspective of how, how Reliance Sense and this type of storing data in the flash will affect your system. Okay, the next part of the question is that, are there any cost advantages to this solution? Yes, um, firstly, Reliance Sense can help you accelerate time to market, thanks to the simulation tool mentioned earlier, and also it's straightforward the API that helps quick integration to the target uh, platform, target environment. In addition, Reliance Sense helps to mitigate the cost of flash parts, as a result being compatible with many more flash parts. On top of that, Reliance Sense has a deterministic emergency write function as well, which reduces uh, the need of an extra capacitor uh, in the device. Two questions to go. So the next one is, can you explain the record management aspect of the solution a bit more in detail? Sure, our API in Reliance Sense includes read, write, search and optimize time step based search. You can add your own data into the records to enable integrity check, security, or any sort of other functions you might uh, need in your environment. And the last one, which markets, applications, type of devices is this approach best suited for? I'll take that one. Um, Reliance Sense is ideal for data login applications on embedded IoT devices, such as smart meters, sensors, telematic units or wearables, for example. And because of its power friendly and flash friendly nature and minimal resource use, it's also a good choice in industries where long term sustainability is a serious consideration. We have the case of experience working with our very demanding customers in very different environments and challenging environments. So we will be more than happy to discuss with you about your data storage needs and, and use cases and help you find the suitable product to, to help you with your data workloads. Thank you. Thank you.